Hello, welcome to Blended Agendas. We have Ebony Romaine here. Indeed. Ebony is a recent graduate of what school? Worcester State University. And what is your major? Psychology, criminal justice minor with a concentration in mental health. Okay, now yes. have you felt that um, your college prepared you for the um, career you want to get into? I would say yes. So I had a very... I'm going to say it's common because a lot of people switch majors. A lot of people don't graduate on time. So it took me five years. I transferred from a community college to Worcester State in my second semester of freshman year. Um, I started as a business major. Didn't want to do that just because the programs offered, I wasn't interested in those. Started in criminal justice. <clears throat> decided I didn't really want to do that, but I went pretty far in the major, so I made it my minor. And then I settled on psychology because every class I ever took for psychology, I did really well in. I was always interested, so I just got through that way. And I think that taking that path the way that I did, it built a lot of character for me. So it did help me get to where I'm at now. And as of right now, I'm going back to the beginning. Now I'm in business. But I think that psychology is always a great background to have because you know how people work, you know why people do what they do, you know the behaviors and where they come from. So psychology I'm always recommend anybody if you don't know what you want to go for at least start there okay so what were some of the expectations that you had upon completing um, college of yourself uh, as to where you should be where you will be yeah um so I didn't expect you know anything I kind of just came out of school just like all right now I gotta start like I felt like that was a starting point for me now I gotta like figure out what I really want to do. So I know for psychology, I would have to go back for my master's. That's just what you have to do in that field. So in the meantime, I knew that, you know, I'm not going to school right away. I'm going to move back home. I'm going to get an apartment and I'm going to make it do what it do from there. But I started a company, the House of Reverie and my other company, Ebony Brinks Co. Excuse me. Um, I started those before I graduated. I Junior year, I started doing my research and started practicing on, you know, what am I going to do from here if I want a business? And that's the only expectations I really set for myself was now, okay, you got this business, make it work. So being out of school, I was like, all right, now I got my time. I got more free time, so I really got to focus. And that's pretty much just what I wanted to focus on. Okay, I hear a lot of students, um, once they completed college, and they say the struggle is real. Uh, can you attest to that? Can you agree with that or no? So the struggle is real, but I'm somebody that believes in like manifestation and listening to the universe, listening to, you know, the higher power, whatever you believe in, because there's always signs. So the struggle can be real, but it's all about what you make it at the end of the day. So for me, like I take any little negative situation or anything that's like adversity in my life as a way to do something positive. So like for me, I got out, I didn't have a job. I'm getting an apartment, I have a car note, I have student loans starting up in the next six months. What am I gonna do about it? I ended up getting a $300 speeding ticket, right? Ew, the yeah. struggle is real. That made the struggle very real. <laughs> so from literally, don't use your phone and drive. But I got the speeding ticket, drove off, started calling jobs immediately, started calling jobs immediately. And I fell upon the job that I'm at now and everything just started to roll from there. So if I hadn't, if I had just been like, oh, I got a three hundred dollars speeding ticket, and let that get me down, and however, I would not be where I'm at right now, and I'm in a very good place right now. So the struggle can be real, but it's all about how you go about it. So okay, um, seeing that you um, started college five years ago, what would you say to yourself mm -hmm. back then, five years ago? What would you say to yourself? So I have this conversation actually like once a week because I have a little cousin. She's three years younger than me, so it's like she's currently going through the process. And I made her my business partner for my business. And I always tell her like, I just, I always think of anything that I would have told myself. So I got a bunch of things. One, like I just said, use adversity to your advantage. When things happen that don't go your way, keep going and just pay attention. That's all I can say about that. And then for her, Whenever she feels stuck, 
I'm like, I promise you, you are not going to be there forever. This is like what's going to build who you are. Like, you can't be a strong person if you don't go through nothing. So take everything for what it is and use it. Now, what, what, where do you see yourself 20 years from now? 20, so I'll be 40. I know it's a long, long way to look off, but the years do go by fast. You are right, because I'm looking now, and I, I'm like, I can't even believe I graduated college already, but in 20 years, I'm definitely having a few kids. I definitely have a few houses, because I plan on getting into real estate and everything. I, I want to be able to, if somebody calls me and they need something, I want to be the person that, you know, I got you. Like, I know exactly what to turn you to. I got connections. I, I've networked here. I've networked there. I just want to be able to be comfortable, make sure my family is comfortable moving forward, and the family that I have now. Like, I just want life to be not a struggle. So, I don't even believe in saying, like, oh, life is a struggle. Cause... So, follow me at Ebony Janae, that's E B O N Y J H A N A, on Instagram. You can follow my fitness page, Ebony Janae Fitness. You can follow my lash page, The House of Reverie, and my hair page, Ebony Brinks Co. Okay, Ebony, what would you tell a young lady or young man um, who feel as though college is not for them or they feel as though college will not further them in any type of industry mm -hmm. um, that they're facing with today? Do you think college is a plus or, uh, or you know, just tell me what do you think that every young person should do should they go to college so I <clears throat> a lot of people may not like my stand on this but <clears throat> excuse me I am not gonna force my kids to go to college the reason being is I feel as though if you know what you want to do before it's the time to go to college then you go and do that because college is for me it was kind of just a middle ground of figuring out what you want to do so if you are fresh out of high school and you don't know what you want to do go and figure it out go to college that's the place to, you know, test out, you know, the different areas of information. So for me, I got to test out business. I got to test out criminal justice. I got to test out psychology. Eventually, I made my way back to business, but I knew that there's different areas that I could, you know, move in. Now, I say that for somebody, if you come out of school and let's say you're like, okay, I want to be a hairstylist, go and do that and get it started as soon as possible because experience is everything. And that's what they tell you in college, too. You could have a degree and somebody could just have experience the person with experience is going to get the job so go do what you do if what you you know you want to do if you know what you want to do okay now during college if you're a majoring in a particular subject you always have to embark on an internship mm -hmm. um, and enter an internship program yep. um did you see that as a way of i'll say wetting your feet so I had a different experience when it came to the internship. Um, I did my internship my last year, but it was considered a class that I took. So I took behavior management te techniques, which we had like a virtual lab thing that we did on a computer, which was considered an internship. So I didn't really get the feel of like being out in the field and doing like, you know, actual work without getting paid because I didn't even want to do that. So <laughs> if I did an internship, I was getting paid. But long story short, I. When I was doing that internship through the class, I actually was working at a job in psychology. So it's like I was in my field. I was an ABA therapist. And a lot of people that I was in classes with, they were looking for internships. And I was able to help them get an internship through my job. So it's like, it depends on what you do. I've heard a lot of like horror stories about, you know, people go into internships where they can't even do most of the stuff because they're not experienced so you're just there watching and it's like what's the point if you need to get your you need to actually get your feet wet to get your feet wet so it depends on what you're doing but i will say that i i agree that internships are good because you get to at least see and you know get the feel of what the real life is because in class whatever they're telling you you're not gonna get it well for me i'm a i'm a hands-on learner so like i have to do it in order to know how to do it i can't just watch you and then apply it later like i have to do it myself so, internships are good, just depends on the route you take. Okay, there are a lot of countries uh, that offer college mm -hmm. free. You go there for free. Yes, yeah, However, like the United States, or oh, I, I think with the uh, exception of two, mm -hmm. um, you have to pay to go to a secondary school. Yeah. So, what is your take on that? I personally, so I did research on um, Finland, and I know that they actually um, offer 
I believe it was Finland, they offer free college. And a lot of those people that went to those schools, they did well in their job. Now, I'm not sure how like the paying for it and not paying for it affects that, but I feel like people just know that this is something you have to do and this is what everybody has done. When people go to school and they're forced to go and they know that they don't have to go, I think some people even slack because like your parents made you go. Like my mom kind of made me go. I didn't really want to be there, but you know, I ended up finding my way there, you know, to make myself be motivated and to get through it. And I felt like I saw a need for it at the end, but if somebody is being forced to go to school and you're paying all this money and you don't see a need for going, you're not going to pay attention or focus. So I just feel like we, we shouldn't pay for it. But at the same time, it shouldn't be something so exclusive. Like, I feel like everybody should have access to college if you want to. And it shouldn't be something that you're paying for. Even though knowledge is power, I get it. But that's a touchy, that's a touchy subject. Okay, well, I would like to thank Ebony Romain for being a guest on Blended Agendas. Mm -hmm. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>